Mushroom coffee, who would have thought such a thing would have tasted good, but apparently it's not bad. But I'm not here to review the taste. No, I'm here to analyze the health claims and explore the research around the marketed benefits of the mushrooms found in Rise Mushroom Coffee to see what kinds of benefits you can realistically expect from drinking mushroom coffee. Rise Mushroom Coffee is essentially just a blend of instant coffee, powdered raw mushrooms, and spray-dried coconut oil as creamer. Per weight, it's going to be more powdered coffee than mushroom, as each 6 gram scoop contains 2 grams of the mushroom blend, roughly 1 gram of coconut creamer based on the nutritional label, and about 3 grams of instant coffee based on the 48 milligrams of caffeine it provides. But we're not here to talk about coffee, even though regular coffee coffee does have its own health benefits thanks to compounds like caffeine and chlorogenic acid. Instead, we want to talk about the mushrooms. Rise Mushroom Coffee features six different types. Cordyceps, Lion's Mane, Rishi, Turkey Tail, Shiitake, and King Trumpet. Our goal is to examine the evidence supporting the health claims made by Rise. However, we're not just accepting any evidence. We're looking for real human evidence. Why? Well, while mechanistic studies on cells or animals may suggest some potential benefits of mushrooms, these findings don't perfectly translate to humans due to our biological differences. Human physiology is intricate and can't be exactly mimicked in a lab dish or a mouse or even a monkey. That's why clinical trials involving humans are crucial. They serve as the gold standard for establishing the safety, effectiveness, and practical usefulness of supplements, ensuring that the benefits absorbed observed in animal and cell studies can be confidently applied to human health. That being said, let's start with cordyceps. This fungus usually grows on caterpillars in the high mountain regions of China. But commercial cordyceps are not harvested from these natural sources. Trying to harvest infected caterpillars at the top of a mountain sounds kind of inefficient. Instead, commercial products are made using artificially grown and fermented cordyceps mycelial cells. Rise claims that cordyceps can boost stamina, a belief held by many. Unfortunately, the research says otherwise. In a small clinical study with cyclists, taking 3 grams of cordyceps daily for 5 weeks did not lead to improved endurance time trials or aerobic capacity. Another study involving healthy elderly adults found that taking 3 grams of cordyceps daily for 12 weeks also did not enhance exercise performance. Even various combination products featuring cordyceps have not demonstrated any benefits in terms of athletic performance, stamina, or body composition beyond a placebo effect. So despite the common belief that cordyceps can enhance stamina or improve athletic performance, the evidence would suggest otherwise. Lion's mane mushroom, also known as Herisium arenaceus, is a fungus that grows on the dead trunks of hardwood trees like oak and beech. According to Rise, lion's mane is supposed to be great for improving focus. There is some weak evidence suggesting that older patients with mild Alzheimer's disease might see improved scores on the mini mental state examination, a measure of cognitive function, by taking lion's mane mushroom. Another study with older Japanese patients, 50 to 80 years old, who had mild cognitive impairment found that taking 1 gram of lion's mane mushroom powder 3 times a day for 16 weeks improved cognitive function. However, this improvement reversed within 4 weeks after stopping the treatment. But here's the catch. These studies focus on individuals with known cognitive issues. What about healthy folks? Research in college-age young adults shows that taking 10 grams of lion's mane mushroom daily for 4 weeks doesn't enhance cognitive markers during a period of exercise-induced fatigue. On the flip side, a small clinical trial with older individuals over 50 years old taking 3.2 grams of lion mane mushroom daily for 12 weeks did show some improvement in cognitive function. So the evidence is a bit mixed when it comes to lion's mane for focus or cognitive function. It appears that older individuals over 50 and those with known cognitive problems like Alzheimer's might benefit, while younger individuals and healthy individuals may not see any cognitive improvements. 
Another factor is the dosage. Studies suggest anywhere from 3 to 10 grams for benefits. Rise mushroom coffee does not provide that much lion's mane, unless you're drinking like 10 or 20 cups a day, which is insane and unsafe due to the caffeine content. Rishi mushroom, also known as Ganoderma lucidium, is a type of fungus. People have been using it in Asian traditional medicines for over 2,000 years. Rise claims that Rishi is good for stress. While this use is a traditional practice, we don't have any direct studies showing its stress-reducing effects in humans. It's more of a hypothetical belief, without solid human evidence to support it. Turkey tail mushroom, also known as Coriolis versicolor or Yanzi, is a pretty common fungus that grows on stumps and decaying wood. In traditional Chinese medicine, it's known for boosting the immune system and detoxifying the body. Rise claims that turkey tail is good for gut health. Unfortunately, there's no research specifically on turkey tail and its impact on human gut health. There doesn't even seem to be any human research remotely related to the topic. However, in medical research, two refined components from the turkey tail mushroom, polysaccharide crestin or PSK and polysaccharide peptide or PSP, are commonly used instead of taking the whole mushroom. In Japan, these two components are utilized for certain medicinal purposes. However, they're specific compounds extracted and refined from turkey tail mushrooms, and consuming the whole mushroom won't have the same effects. Shiitake mushrooms are a type of edible fungus and the second most commonly eaten mushroom worldwide. Rise suggests that shiitake is good for boosting immunity. This idea might be connected to a compound called active hexose correlated compound or AHCC, often derived from shiitake mushrooms. Research indicates that AHCC may have properties that could potentially support the immune system. A small clinical study in adult females with high-risk HPV suggests that taking AHCC 3 grams daily increases clearance of the virus. However, preliminary clinical research in adults with chronic hepatitis C show that taking AHCC doesn't enhance virus clearance. But it's crucial to note that these studies use large doses of purified AHCC, not raw shiitake mushroom powders. So sipping on rye's mushroom coffee will not provide the same immune-boosting benefits. King trumpet mushrooms are mainly known for their use in cooking. While some research have identified intriguing and potentially beneficial compounds like anti-inflammatory or beneficial sterols, these mushrooms aren't typically employed for medicinal purposes, unlike the other five mentioned. Currently, there are no human trials exploring the health benefits of king trumpet mushrooms, and certainly none that would support the notion that they are effective for combating oxidative stress. So, can sipping on rye's mushroom coffee really do wonders for your overall health, both mental and physical? Well, not likely much more than your good old regular cup of coffee. Medicinal mushrooms have intrigued the medical community, with some being studied in humans, but many still lack substantial human research. This gap in knowledge may add to their mystique and almost magical reputation at times. Unfortunately, consuming raw mushroom powders lacks solid human evidence for delivering any of the health benefits marketed by Rise Mushroom Coffee. While I think the the idea of mushroom coffee is quite interesting, you really need to understand that you'll be drinking mushroom coffee mainly for its taste and texture. Realistically, the mushrooms in mushroom coffee won't be significantly improving your overall health anytime soon. But perhaps deep down you already knew that in the back of your mind. Maybe you're holding on to the hope that the unproven but theoretically possible benefits from the powdered mushroom mix could somehow seep into your cells as you savor your mushroom coffee, gradually making you feel a tad better, a bit sharper, with a touch more energy. And maybe it was the mushrooms. Or maybe it was just the coffee. Hi, I'm Dr. Ryan Young. Do you enjoy the taste of mushroom coffee? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to the channel and leave me a like. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date and share this video with someone you know can use the info.